So now you can come somewhere they can go hospital, where they will treat them. Now you can go hospital. From there, now I don't come out to they lock up my things for his house. I can't go back to Benin. So a month later, now police come arrest me for Benin with my stepfather for Benin. So they say, now come say, what do I do? They say, me, I kill my papa. And I say, ah, no, I know if he kill my papa. The, the DP will call, they ask me because I can't judge him. I can't say, ah, he don't see the matter, make me no worry. So now so they come, they carry me, go help for my gate, carry me, go stay CID. Mm -hmm. And then they come finally go put me for inside prison. I can't they inside here. Come they there, no courts, nobody to help me. My mama no come, all of them just abandon me. Even my papa side, my mama side, nobody care for me. Come they there, they suffer. Until I did there, until one man, uh, Evangelist Tukuka, come do a birthday, 50 years birthday. So, as I come, since when I sing the song, uh, the, the, the pastor post them for internet. And uh, from there, I come, they get favor. Now, then my life can't change. I not call they suffer. People come, they see me, they favor me. And so my life can't change. Help come, come. They come, people, they come give me lawyer. Because they help me for lawyer, they send money come. This one, not my papa, not my mama, not, not my brother, not my sister. People who I don't know. And they call they help me. Yes, a Bandy Grace Foundation. Mm -hmm. So they, they can't do birthday, the 50 years birthday. So from there, you know, I I I I, I be singer. Even when I dance inside the world, I they sing for church, I they lead praises. So from there, I can't say, as we dance inside prison, we don't get what they do now. I can't they try to they compose songs. I go to compose songs. If I compose, I go to sing them. People, my mates, they will say the song good. If I say I'm a composer, they will say I like. Say, don't be me, compose the song too sweet. Don't be me. And I say, I'm the doing. So when this, uh, the evangelist, you can't do birthday. Now, they, they can't say whether anybody goes to a special number. People, when they come out, and I can't still tell them, say, me, I get one when I go single. So now I can't come out. The one when I compose by myself, I can't sing out for the best day. When you did the prison, how life for prison be? Just tell us how it is short. Uh, life for prison, you know, good at all. Very, very bad. And for there now, you know, say, you know, if you do anything now, this I say. <clears throat> this I say. You just they hopeless. Okay, now very good. So since when you don't come out for prison, so. How life gonna be so far? Who they take care of you and how things gonna be? So the uh, Abandi Grace Foundation. Now then they release me too. Now then I deal with things. My life changed. You know, in my life people come better pass when I felt in the world before. Yeah, so I like my life. So now I they try to work on my music. The song when I write, the Abandi Grace Foundation, they said they wanna help me sponsor the song. So I don't do it. I mean, I want to, I want to go back to school. I want to learn something. I want to do something good. When we say people, when they know me before, they will say, ah, now this girl be this one. So I want to try to become something. Okay. So, sir, can you just uh, tell us how, what led to our freedom and how uh, your the role that you played and also the role that the district government played also and the Ministry of Justice played that led to our freedom? Oh, that's a very I know you, uh, my name is Evangelist Christian Chukuka. I was born and raised in Nigeria, but um, I lived in Sweden for over 15 years before I moved to London, about 12 years before coming back to Nigeria, making me my 27 years in Europe before I moved down to Nigeria. And what led me to coming back to Nigeria was because of the life I lived. I was sentenced to serve 15 years as a drug dealer in Sweden. And um, in the process of that jail, I sat eight years. God showed me kindness, showed me mercy. I came out of prison. Even when I came out, all my best friends, seven of them were all dead. And the only one alive among the eight or four that were doing drug business in Europe then. When I came down here, God gave me a mandate. And that mandate was just to reach out to the youth, especially the ones inside the prison, the students, university campuses, and so on. Bring those boys in the court is an art of court and give them the direction of how to live. And then go to the prison, transform prisoners, rehabilitate all the ones that I could and all that. And we have been doing that for over 240 prisons around the world. South Africa, UK, um, Nigeria here and Ghana. We've covered 214 prisons so far. 
And in this 200 something prison, we have taught the life of over 64,000 inmates. Nigeria is having about 74,000 inmates in total. We've taught about 60,000 of them, and so many other places in Ghana as well. And the, the life, uh, the, what drew me into this ministry is just this change of life, like Joy Ojo is here, and you see so many people that are inside the prison in us so many of them have been there for years without knowing why they're in the prison. And in, in, the, in the course of my journey with this prison work, I've met thousands of prisoners that are unjustly kept in the prison for nothing. And that's caused me to do more. I've been in Nigeria for about seven years now, going to eight years. And I'm not going to retire soon because I love the job. Why? To see people like this come out of prison and then regain their life is my joy. So we've been doing it together with my wife and other people that maybe all our partners abroad and home will be together doing this work. It gives me joy. But there's something that happened, I don't know about this girl case, if I, if I can talk about that. This girl, Joy Ojo, was having my birthday on the field, on the 20, um, in something of, um, I don't remember the date anyway. I was having my birthday in a dope prison, and that's Ubiaja prison, where Joy was um, sitting for about four years she had been in that prison. And then um, when I came there to do my 50th birthday, they asked for people that would come and sing for me, just like to honor me with their songs. So Joy came out and sang one wonderful song, which she said, don't leave me, Jesus, don't leave me. When my enemy me, surrender me, Jesus. So that song became a very popular song on social media, which I've really uh, pushed it around, and everybody have seen that song people started to feel bad who asked me why is she in the prison so i went back again in the prison did an interview with her asked her exactly what happened asked the lawyers and everything after the inquiry i found out that this girl is innocent is in the prison accused of killing her father so i began to make a whole lot of noise concerning her case pushing the videos everywhere and then as god may have it one particular judge in lagos saw that video and then send that video to this wonderful woman in Edo State. That woman, I don't know, she deserves honor. Her name is uh, Honorable Professor Yinka Omorebe. She's the Attorney General of Edo State. The woman saw the video and then she took interest over the matter and called us and asked me what happened. I explained. She did her inquiries and found out that what I told her was true. And she asked me, can you be able to come to Edo State? I said, yes, ma'am, I can. I seek for the permission to be able to travel for because of the past state lockdown. So I couldn't put the move from state to state. I seek for permission from the state. states. The, the, the prison officer I gave me the permission sent to me. I took my staffs and we traveled down to just the state states um, to go and meet Attorney General. On getting there, it was actually in a very terrible weather. To my surprise, to my amazement, this woman left all that she was doing and drove down from me to to uh, Abu Biaja, uh, from Benin to Abu Biaja because of this case. She humbled herself and traveled all the way to come there to meet us in Abu Biaja. And then we all sat down, he brought the inmates and asked them questions. Some other innocent young boys that are inside the prison. The woman took note of all the terrible things that we discovered in the prison that day. She took note and began to talk to people how to be able to handle the matter. Because in the congestion program that she's handling, is the only one so far that I've met, particularly, I will say this without being careful. She's the only one I've seen so far that handled the congestion program with dignity, integrity. She looked at the matter, she looked at the details of the case, and she said, well, something is not right here. Something is not right here. And the one she said that is not supposed to talk about is, okay, can you send that person back to cell? The person will go back to cell. The one he took into a say, okay, Lawyers who is taking over this case. She's handling the cases according to how it should be. I saw intellectualism in, in her work. I saw professionalism in her work. I know sometimes I make certain that people wonder why you say that. I say sometimes I honor women a lot because of this their mindset, the way they do things. She's one of those women that I really respect a lot today. And then that is how she took her decision. I don't know what she wrote on the paper and then gave them, then went to the court the next day. That's, I found this girl released. But there is something she said. Where is she going to be? Because we don't have anybody taking care of her. I said, ma'am, Abounding Grace Foundation, by the special grace of God, will we pay her house rent? 
we will, re, we will re, restore her with her children, we will cut her for the spaces, we will take her back to go and study, to learn something, learn hand work, whether hairdressing, whether trading, whether whatever she is going to do. A bounding waste foundation has been standing medically. Otherwise, all that we promise Attorney General, we have been fulfilling, we have everything on documents. We paid our house rent already seven hundred thousand naira, six hundred and ninety-four thousand naira our house rent, and so many other things that we are spending around. We are doing it because of love we have for the poor people that are innocently jailed. So it's it's not like we do it because for anything, one thing or the other. No, it's because of the ministry itself, the one who set me free, Jesus Christ, who brought me out of prison, gave me this mandate to go and save other people. So I'm running exactly with the mandate given to me by God. So I can also add this one here. This woman, uh, Attorney General of Edo State, is exactly the one running with the program that the government have started, say, the correctional center. There should be some corrections. And if you see the one that has supposed not to be there, then there must be a way of removing them out of the prison. That's exactly what she's doing. The congestion program, the congestion program, she's running it perfectly so far. So, please, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, do you have any word of uh, appreciation to the state government uh, for what they are doing? I want to say this uh, Edo state government, God bless you so much. I have to also say this that I was, um, at the time I went to um, Edo state mini uh, prison, I saw so many things happening inside the prison. There are so many death sentences, the death row. I have pleaded that they should have mercy on them. Since then, we've never heard that anybody has been killed in Edo prison. So, um, the government of Edo State, I give you kudos. You are doing great, and I'm so happy. And I'm ready to work with you. Bring those boys away. I've been telling them for you. There's a bounding based foundation have devoted their time now for Edo State. We have been to Edo over five years, sometimes five times in a year, to go and talk to the prisoners and rehabilitate them, and we are ready to work with you. I really appreciate what you are doing with the congestion program in this environment. We love you. Thank you.